So welcome everyone into the space. You're very welcome, whether you're joining us from remote or in person, wherever you are, you're very, very welcome. I'm going to begin today's meditation with a poem, a poem from John O'Donoghue, one of our favourite poets. So just getting into a comfortable position. Nice and even, on either side of the body. Just settling down to breathe. Beginning to notice the breath. The breath keeps us in this present moment. And wherever you are and wherever you're joining us in the Third Space community from, you belong. You are welcome. You are part of this community. We are greater because you are present. Poem by John O'Donoghue. May you listen to your longing to be free. May the frames of your belonging be generous enough for your dreams. May you arise each day with the voice of blessing whispering in your heart. May you find a harmony between your soul and your life. May the sanctuary of your soul never become haunted. May you know the eternal longing that lives at the heart of time. May there be kindness in your gaze when you look within. May you never place walls between the light and yourself. May you allow the wild beauty of the invisible world to gather you, mind you, and embrace you in belonging. As we breathe the air around us in and out, May we begin to pay attention to the sensation of the air on our skin. The air and the gravity drawing our bodies down towards the earth. Caressing us. Holding us. the very breath of life being drawn into our bodies deep down, 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 deep into our bellies. Then gently exhaling.
feeling the safety and security around us of the gravity of the air and of the presence of the eternal one. holding us, embracing us. Drawing deep into our souls the knowledge that we are safe we are loved, we are not alone. We allow the gravity to draw our bodies down towards the earth, allowing our neck and our shoulders to sink down with each breath out, releasing the tension, releasing the pain, allowing that shalom peace to flow into our bodies, our souls, our mind and our spirit. Feeling that flow like honey over our body. Flowing down, down. Feeling that flow over our elbows and our wrists. Taking with it the thoughts of struggle, feelings of pain out through our fingers, flowing out down, allowing each finger to rest, to feel heavy in this moment. Feeling heavy hands and fingers and then even heavier. Stillness of our wrists flowing up our arms and down our hands. A gentle stillness. Again, allowing our shoulders to drop down. And then even further. A gentle pull of gravity. Drawing our mind's eye to what is going on in our bellies. And allowing our torso to sink down into the chair or the floor. A 
releasing the muscles in our belly. With each breath out, a softening, a resting of those muscles. A letting go. Casting our mind's eye over our whole body now. From the top of our heads to the tips of our toes. Noticing the wholeness of the body. Maybe there's one or two spots in our bodies that are pressing for our attention. Just observing it, acknowledging. And then releasing. Imagining the oxygen-filled blood traveling to the outer reaches of every cell Every tip, every depth, life giving oxygen. Breathing in and through, lengthening the breath. of the living God. We welcome your presence among us. We ask that you would speak to us through the divine word. Speak deep into our souls, our minds and our bodies. Before time itself was measured, the eternal voice was speaking. The eternal voice was and is God. This celestial word remained ever present with the Creator. Their speech shaped the entire cosmos. Immersed in the practice of creating, all things that exist were birthed in them. Their breath filled all things with a living, breathing light. A light that thrives in the depths of darkness. Blazes through murky bottoms. It cannot and will not be quenched.
before time itself was measured. The eternal voice was speaking. The eternal voice was and is God. This celestial word remained ever present with the Creator. Their speech shaped the entire cosmos. Immersed in the practice of creating. All things that exist were birthed in them. Their breath filled all things with a living, breathing life. A light that thrives in the depths of darkness, blazes through murky bottoms, it cannot and will not be quenched. As we consider these words, let us take some time to listen to some sounds of nature, hearing what the voice of the Eternal One is speaking deeply to us in this moment.
take this moment to honour the sacred space of community and belonging. Slowly and gently drawing the air into our bodies, deep down into our bellies. And when we exhale, gently opening our eyes and coming back into the space, into the company of others. Be at peace, my friends. Shalom. <laughs>